Hi, Lee Ellis here with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, last month we talked about listening. Well, if you've been practicing, you probably have already understand that it requires sacrifice to be a good listener, especially when you really don't want to listen. That's when it really is a challenge. It is for me. Well, this month we're talking about sacrifice because I know that most of us are going after some big time goals this year in 2016. Some of you have resolutions already made. I can tell you, if we're going to accomplish those stretch goals, we're going to have to sacrifice along the way. You know, as a young boy, my mom was a school teacher, a great science teacher. She didn't teach me, but all of her students still tell me today when I see those students, they tell me, oh, what a wonderful teacher she was. But one of her students was also in industrial arts, and he made a sign to give one of the expressions that evidently she used a lot in the class. And it said, I'm sorry, the elevator to success is not working. You'll have to take the stairs. Well, someone eventually convinced her we didn't, she didn't need that in the class anymore, and it came home, and it hung in our house. When I was a teenager, I saw it every day, and it stuck. I realized that you have to pay the price to be successful. Well, later in life, I saw that in a hard way in the POW camps, where our leaders sacrificed regularly to set the example for us so that we could resist, survive, and return with honor. Survival, yes, but sacrifice, that's more important, more day-to-day for us now. Sacrifice for the goals, well, I have some very important goals for this year that I know I will have to sacrifice to get them all done. Number one is I've got to finish a book that I'm writing. That's going to take a lot of work and I'll have to set some other things aside. Two, I want to expand the use and tools for our Leading with Honor assessment, online assessment. So we need to build those out and get that deployed. Number three is to uh, expand our network of trainers and consultants who use those tools. And number four is to expand my audience for keynote speaking. So those are some big stretch goals for 2016. It will require sacrifice. But you know, I've had sacrifice before, as I mentioned, and when I think about 1,955 days of eating soup, thin watery soup twice a day with a small baguette of bread or a cup of rice, you know, on the front end, that was a real sacrifice. But after a while, after a few months, it became normal. It was a new normal. And so sacrifice was a day-to-day thing because it was essential for us to achieve our goals of returning with honor. Professional athletes sacrifice to achieve their goals. Everybody does. I once saw B.J. Singh finish an 18-hole golf tournament on Saturday, getting ready for Sunday's final round. And after playing 18 holes, he goes to the driving range, and they were talking about his work ethic, the commentators were, and they had a counter, a, a movie screen or video screen watching him, and they had a counter. And you could see him, every time he hit a ball, it would count off. And when he was past 300, I turned it off. He'd already played around, and now he was hitting more than 300 balls practicing for the next day's round. That's sacrifice. You know, I think one of the biggest challenges in facing sacrifice is our fears. We know former President Calvin Coolidge said, you know, there can be 10 problems coming down the road at you, but nine of them will jump in the ditch before they get to you. And I think that's about the way it is with fear. A lot of times, once we kick that fear door down, we find out it's really not so bad. It's really a lot in our minds. Those fears have built up. We just walk into them, lean into them, and keep moving ahead to achieve our goals. Those fears fall by the wayside, and all of a sudden we can look back and know that we've passed that milestone. So as we think about 2016, question number one, Do you have some stretch goals for 2016? Two, do you have workable plans to achieve your goals? Three, do you have a support team who's going to encourage you as you sacrifice? Four, are you willing to sacrifice to reach reach your goals? And five, do you have an experience in the past that you can lean on, a time when you faced sacrifice and actually gone through it that you can remember? How did you get through that? Well, maybe you can share that with us. We'd love to hear your story online and hear your tips about dealing with sacrifice and accomplishing goals. Well, I wish you a great 2016. I hope you achieve all your goals. Look forward to hearing about them along the way, and I'll keep you posted about how we're doing on our goals here at Leading with Honor. 
Now to help you along the way in 2016, we have the Leading with Honor Honor Code, seven articles about leading with honor, about living with honor, and I hope that you'll check them out. You'll see they will require some sacrifice, but oh, the payoff is huge. Take care and see you again next month.